All right, this morning we're up at a place called Horse Canyon where a hunter's camera has been showing some cattle in a spot they don't need to be. We need to get them out of here. And it's rather steep, big and rough, and with some thick trees in the bottom of there. We found a few cattle around the trough. The kids are getting those headed down the canyon. It's not going very easy, but it's going. I had to abandon my horse to climb up this peak, and I can see cattle up ahead of me toward the top of here. So we got our handy dandy radio calling for a few kids to ride up that canyon and see if we can get some down off of here. There's my people down there and that tree infested canyon has a cow trail going up it and they know how to use those trees up in here too. It's a little burnt up on these taller peaks and you see a cow right there. Boom, cow. What we're trying to do is guide some of our horse riders up a half decent trail to the top of here, way at the top. That's where I can see one, two, three, four, five or more cows at least. I think some of you need to try to come up in here and get these down out. We can go through and gather those that are down. We need to get some more of these shoved off of here. I can't see them yet. They're still far enough down to the bottom. I can't see them. So there's some other guys, some old guys, tell by their voice, they must have nothing better to do. They've wound up on the same radio channel as us. I'm down to low battery, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to communicate, but I just ran onto another bunch. Yeah, we're on the same channel with people doing who knows what now. Uh, I'm going to try to start these cattle moving a little bit. Gently, slowly. Log up, old cows. Let's go. See them right in there. 
Walk on up out of here. Let's go. Walk on over out of here. Let's go. So we're just at the top of a really, really high, steep peak here. That's why I abandoned my cavallo. Walk on up out of here. Come on now. Walk on up out of here. Mm. Uh, big old steer that might want us to catch right there. Good one. Got a track and tag cow over here. She's headed the wrong way, wrong way currently. Come on. Walk on down out of here. Nice and easy. Back down where you last got a drink, huh? You know the way. Walk on down out of here. Walk on down out of here. You're good. Walk on down out of here. Now that I'm at the top of here, so you can see the rest of the world. You got Pine Valley Mountain, Gunlock Reservoir, the town of Gunlock, the town of Bayo. You see it all from right here. Oh, look, this way, city of St. Right there, the city of St. George. You can see all the way to Sand Hollow Reservoir, over by Hurricane, Co-op. That's the, what do they call that? Snow Canyon State Park right there. Gunlock Reservoir right there. A lot to see from right here. Yeah. Alright. Walk on up, girls. We got a ways to go. Hoopa. Hip. Okay, right now I'm staying a little bit just over the top of the hill here. I'm on the Veo Gunlock side of the hill. The cattle I'm after are just right over the hump from me. I'm trying to kind of hide on the other side of the slope get around on the correct side of them to send them back down to the rest of the crew yeah, I've come quite a ways I think I might be far enough past them I can sneak up over the hill here see if I'm in a good position to send them the correct direction where are they at? oh there they are I'm right on top of them you can see that cow's back right over the top of the bush Oh, no cow, there she is. There's some others right over here. Always down from her. There's... Come on now. Go nice and easy right off where you need to be. Oh, and Rio's Texas Longhorn. So this is one of the ones we knew of that was on the camera pictures from yesterday down at that trough. So she knows exactly where to go. They'll trail off there. And I've got reinforcements making their way up to me. Walk up, cattle. Just be good. Walk on off of there. Good cows. Walk on off of there. Good cows. Walk on off of there. That's some good cows. It's a good thing we made the effort to hike all the way up here. If we'd have just left with what we had, we would have been disappointments. You know, we haven't got these yet, but... We're up here, we found them, and we're on the right side of them. I'm on the right side of them. Hopefully they don't run head on into my help and get boogered. It's quite a canyon down off of here. Feed's good up here, though. These are some smart cows to be here. Just making it a lot of work for us. Walk on up, let's go.
Walk on up. Let's go. Man, I'm expecting to hit my cowboys any minute somewhere here. Where are you guys at? Can you see these cows yet? Okay, these cattle are starting off the trail pretty good here. So, main thing is don't wind up straight in front of them somehow. They're headed down where they need to go. I can hear my cowboys now. I think they're just up above me to the left here. So should have some help in a second. Okay, it's a decent cow trail. It's a little rugged, but it's a good cow trail. And this leads right down to where the rest of my little cowboy crew's waiting on us. So I feel like this is gonna turn out to be successful. I wasn't certain about that the whole time. Sometimes if you keep on trying hard, you wind up just getting lucky in the end. You can only see the last one or two right here, but it's a decent little group of cattle and it was some we needed, some we knew we were missing, so. Feeling optimistic. And that's my story. There's Rio's big old Texas Longhorn. Wait till you get a chance to see those antlers. Got some good antlers. She's from Doug Hunt's famous herd. Yeah, we'll be coming out right at the trough. So we just need some people up to the east to make sure they go down the canyon where they're supposed to go. Seven, Utah County will be next to them. She'll be followed by Presley Nelson and Carter Twitter. Yeah, Rio! Woo! And the time is an 8.59. 8.59. Yeah. Nice shot, Rio. It's going to be some double lock for New baby you're still kind of wobbly to be hiking around in here look who's showing up up there behind me oh look who came to rescue me Thank you. Awesome. I thought the kids were coming to get me. My favorite, my favorite cowgirl came to find me. Did you see what we got though? Got Rio's big longhorn that we were supposed to be finding. So we, we did what we were supposed to do. If we'd have left out of here with nothing more than what was down there, we'd have been sorry cowboys, huh? Now we at least know we got the one we knew was here. Yeah. One thing we knew, there was a longhorn cow and a mountain lion. And we got the longhorn cow. Yep, we do. I see it now. Also, no joke, I'm not lying, not making it up. One day I was up on this same hill climbing around like a mountain goat, just like that. And I promise I ran into a whole herd of bighorn sheep, I think. Bighorn sheep, mountain goats. Down there just told me there's bighorn sheep. 
bighorn sheep. Okay, so that's what they were. Anyway, I ran into a whole bunch of them. They were juveniles, so they're kind of little guys. They were bouncing and hopping all over, but there is a herd of them somewhere up on here. No kidding. Hey, switch me. I really want the extra part. Uh, okay. So just barely as we got up to the top of this hill, I must have got service and got a text message from my brother who hauled Rio up for the state finals rodeo. And we just barely got a video of his run and watched it right here on the trail one second ago. What'd you think, Mom? So we took bets earlier today. Mom and Ryler and I were taking bets on what the time was going to be. What was your bet, Mom? Mom bet seven eight. Ryler, what did you say? Ryler, no, I said eight seven. He said eight two. Ryler said eight two. I said eight seven. The boys, the boys were just eight five nine. Yeah, Friday we're going to go watch him for round two and then the short go. So we had to miss this one for today, but hey, we got to see it and we got our cows caught. So we did good. I don't know yet. I haven't got a chance to see these things close enough to tell what's what. Okay. Here's the trough. It's about to be out of water. Yeah, and he tied it up. Okay. Say hi to Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Gee whiz. Walk up out of here, let's go, hey. Walk up out of here, let's go, hey. Walk up out of here, let's go, hey. Let's see. Right through there. Right through, come on, put your head to the side of it. A barrel racing horse. Don't know how to... All right, we got all our people back together. Got some cows for them. Now we're gonna head on out of here. All right, we're back on foot for a minute. These low hanging trees don't like our horses very good. Then we have to get a lot shorter horses. Little teeny baby is kind of starting to drag. Keep up with your mama. Let's go.
got a bit of a breeze. What we ended up doing was coming to a catchment up here since we're in the middle of nowhere, a long ways from the corral. Now, this catchment, I'm gonna tell you about it in a second in case you don't know about these things. But it's fenced by barbed wire. So we've got a couple acres fenced in with barbed wire here. Not a corral, but it is fenced in and we've put these cattle in here. Borrowed some panels from our friend Zach. We set those up and we were able to get one load of cattle loaded on a truck and out of here. But now we have to wait a long time for that truck to make it all the way back here. So we're getting these cattle paired up, being ready to go. Now I'll show you about this catchment right here. So pretty much what this is, is just a good sized square area covered in some thick, hard plastic. And that's for the rain. So you get a 4th of July thunderstorm, it rains really hard for a little while. It's gonna rain on that and that's all sloped to this bottom corner. Down in this lowest corner, you got the grate there to keep debris from going in and then there's a hole that goes down and the pipe goes into this large storage tank where the water is stored and then from there down below down there is a tire truck the cattle can pick up. so that's how these cows get a drink the rain falls on that big piece of plastic covered in rocks runs down that hole fills up and then keeps the trough which is on a float hold on there these cattle right here is our next load. We've got eight, including some bulls, a few pears, some dry cows. We've got them separated down into this corner. When the truck pick gets back, we're gonna try to do what we did a minute ago. All the sorry Anchor Brand Ranch cameramans, nobody filmed this, but we got lucky. Every once in a while you get lucky. Um, we had some all paired up. We drove them right up along this not very strong barbed wire fence, little mangled up four strand fence. We drove them along it into Zach's panels and straight on, we actually drove them straight on to the trailer without any real problems. It was super lucky. Sissy thinks I'm the one bringing us all this good luck today. Good weather, good luck. We're gonna have good luck on the next load out whenever a truck finally gets here, huh Sissy? So uh, it's expected record high temperatures today. We don't know what it is right now, but the, the phone called for record high temperatures and it's starting to warm up. Yeah, it's currently two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know what the temperature is, but between two and five, it's only guaranteed to get hotter. But we're all having a positive attitude. I haven't said anything. I'm just we've had quiet. some. We've had some good luck so far, and I'm betting when that truck and trailer comes That's back to load this next load, they're gonna bring us a cold drink of water. Not good Surely they'll bring us a drink of water. No, they will not. <laughs> Found me a teeny bit of shade and some water. It's not cold, but it's not hot either. The sorry scraggly Joshua tree makes a bit of shade, but it's all protected by a bunch of things that want to poke you. So, here we wait for a truck to load our cows in. All right, everybody did a bad job cameramaning again, but we did a good job getting lucky again. This time we got lucky and got the cattle on the trailer and came up with some sweet cherries, okay. onions, water, <laughs> and some candy. So we're gonna survive, no doubt. We might die later today, but we're not gonna die in the next hour or two while we're eating these cherries. Slowly we're losing our crew. As many as could pile in that truck just snuck in it to get out of here. Away it goes. Wait, 
cherries and wait for another truck. We've been having a bit of a rat problem at the ranch. Rats been getting in a bunch of our vehicles, making a mess, chewing on things. So we've started a new little project of catching and collecting these blow snakes and turning them loose around the yard. Uh, these snakes are non-venomous, but they are kind this of aggressive. Like they snake. will eat rats, what? for one, and they kill there. rattlesnakes. So hopefully we can bring a bunch of these home Here. and have no rattlesnakes and no rats around the ranch. All right, show me how to catch a snake. All right, don't hurt him. We need him to catch mice. Go slow, go slow. Go slow, slow. Go slow so you don't hurt him. There's a yellow tub.